Today at Phone Fun Shop we're going to do a quick demonstration on how to change a digitizer on an iPad 2018 version. So first of all we're going to put it on top of this heat mat so it can warm up the adhesive on the digitizer. So we're just going to set it to 80 degrees and uh, just get a couple of minutes to warm up. So the iPad has been on the heater a few moments so we're just, uh, going to tackle this digitizer now and uh, hopefully with it being cracked already around the edges, it should make it a little bit easier for us to lift it up. So we'll just go around to the outside and try and get this digitizer off. So with the iPad being quite hot, it's making it easy for us to lift up this digitizer because it's loosening the, the glue and what's got it stuck down. So the way that being shattered it's gonna come off in pieces and not all as one, unfortunately. So we should be able to peel this. So this should come up now. So what we're going to do now is just remove the four screws while keeping the LCD intact. So we're just going to remove this adhesive what's covering them up. So there's four screws uh, in one in each corner. Got a magnetic mat here to keep our screws in place. So that is all four screws removed from the LCD. So now we're going to put it back on the heater because uh, the LCD has actually got bits of glue where the screw holes are what I keep it intact. So we'll just uh, put it on the heater again to loosen that glue up. So the iPad has been on the heater for a few minutes, so I'm just gonna take it off now. So the best way to do this is to just get your pair of tweezers uh, and just pry up the LCD slightly where the glue is and it should come away from the glue and it should make it a little bit easier for you. So I'm just going to pry it up slightly and it should just release itself from the glue. Just like that. Like that. So there's three three screws holding this bracket and what's holding the LCD in place. So we'll just remove those. Now we've removed the screws for the LCD plate. We can just lift this up and it should unclip the LCD. There we go, just like that. And then we've got two connections for the digitizer and one for the home button ribbon. So we're just going to remove this black tape, what's covering up the home button ribbon. So now we're going to remove the home button and digitizer connections. So it's just covered up with some tape. Just put that to one side and then we can unclip the home button ribbon. So that just unslots. And we can unclip the digitizer connections. And then just 
remove the digitizer from the frame. So that is the LCD and the digitizer removed from the frame. So now what we need to do is clean this up, uh, ready for our new digitizer. So iPad has been on heater again for a few more minutes. Uh, so now we're ready to remove all these bits of glass and uh, tape around the edges. So just a pair of flat tweezers should be okay for this. So now we have removed the tape and the glass from the frame, uh, what we are going to do is remove all the excess glue so it doesn't make it uh, any difficult for us to stick down the digitizer. So I have just applied some glue remover around the outside uh, so it helps soften up the glue. And I'm just going to go around the frame now with just like a normal scraper and just go around and scrape up that glue. With the glue remover, it's making it nice and easy for us to remove the excess glue or stuff around the edges. So you tend to find a lot of problems when you leave the excess glue when you're sticking your new digitizer down. You'll get problems like lifting. And stuff so we're just going to clean around the edges of this glue, so we've got a nice clean surface for the new digitizer to be stuck down. So what we're going to do now is just quickly remove the original home button uh, so we make sure that that Touch ID functionality is still available. Uh, so I've had it on the heater a couple of moments just to loosen up that glue. Uh, so it should be nice and easy to peel away. Obviously you just need to be very careful. Um, so obviously if you tear or cause any damage to the button, that Touch ID function will not work anymore. And with this glass being cracked, it should make it easy for me to peel away. So that's been removed from the. So now we've cleaned up the iPad uh, and got it all ready for a new digitizer. What we're going to do is, with our new digitizer, is tape it up and install it, the home button. Uh, so I've removed the stock tape. So we believe um, it isn't strong enough uh, to stop things like uh, the iPad digitizer lifting over time. So we tend to tape no, it up with our own tape. The home button. stick down and then we get the bracket what was on the original digitizer and line it up with the home button so that's nice nicely in place so now we're going to tape up around the edges So we are putting a bit of excess tape on, but what we'll do is cut it off with like a blade or a standalone blade and just cut off the excess tape.
just make sure we are covering up the camera hole on the big side. Now we're just going to get a blade and cut off the excess tape. Just cutting off this excess tape. Obviously, you just need to be careful of these ribbons and the home button ribbon, also. So, I'd just fold them back and uh, just cut that excess tape off, like so. There we go, that's it all taped up, and uh, we're just about ready to stick it down. Now we've got everything ready, we're going to install our new digitizer. So, we're just going to clip the connections in. So, we'll start off with the Home button connection. Now the digitizer connections. So they've clipped in. Now we're going to install the LCD. And now we'll install the LCD. So when you've got the three screw holes lined up with the plate, it should be okay to just push it down. And now the three screws that go inside here. So now we've put screws on that plate, we can lay down the LCD with the screw holes what go into the frame and then install our screws. Make sure those are nice and tight. Now we're just going to power on the iPad and give the new digitizer a quick test. So we believe the new digitizer is working correctly, so we should be able to stick it on now. So now what we're going to do is just give the LCD a quick clean up, um, just clear it up of any dust or fingerprint marks that may be on the LCD. So with the digitizer and LCD being separate parts, it's very likely that you can get dust in between them. So we're just trying our best not to get any dust inside the LCD. So the new digitizer is ready to stick down. So what we're going to do is peel away this tape. Now 
I'll just line the digitizer up with the frame. Peel away this tape near the connections. And tuck these connections in. They should sit now nice and flush. So there we go. That's a demonstration and that's a change of digitizer and iPad 2018. Thanks for